r slash ask reddit, what's the one thing you never told your ex? That her passion and goals for her writing career did not match her talent and dedication in actually trying to achieve them. This one hits home. I couldn't stomach telling her that her dreams weren't realistic. Even when she left me to go to grad school to try and achieve them. And I was right. But she married her ta from grad school and became his assistant. It wasn't her dream but hopefully has made her happy. Just because you know interesting people, that doesn't make you interesting. As someone once told me, it's not who you know. It's who knows you. That it isn't normal for him, 18, and his sister, 23, to shower together on a regular basis. And no it was not to preserve water because they were loaded AF. I cannot imagine being presented with this information and not saying anything lol. I wish I had told her how messed up her family dynamic was, how oppressed she was from that. I wish I had told her that life was more than academia and titles. And that I could have been more, but I was always going to be an outlier in her family's eyes. I damn did we date the same person? That I know damn well she cheated on me. Edit to add, I never told her because it would have benefited no one. As a result, we had an amicable divorce. Man I got this weird gut feeling about my ex too. It wasn't proven but it's weird how she ended up with someone she was talking to prior to the breakup, someone I was suspecting. Needless to say, I wasn't surprised to learn she ended up with that person because I was expecting it already. I know she faked an emergency phone call and left my apartment in a hurry one night because she had sharded herself. Unbeknownst to her there was some trace evidence left where she was sitting on the couch. I cleaned the spot, flipped the cushion, and I never let on that I knew what had really happened. You and your mom have a weird ass relationship and if it came out you guys were fucking it wouldn't surprise me. This has been so shockingly common in my dating life as well, it's now one of the first things I look for to weed out the bad apples what's his relationship with his mom like. Have you seen the show Smothered on TLC? I've been watching clips here and there, and it is astonishing. LOL same thing for me except it was my GF and her brother. He made me really yi uncomfortable with how often he accidentally shit himself. Accidents are accidents but there's a point where it's no longer an accident. Well, I'm done with this thread now. This reminds me of a post I read a while back on r slash Ada about someone who broke up with their husband because his fetish was pissing himself while out in public. Someone was getting off on that activity, me thinks. Okay that's enough reddit for today. Good night guys. Like how often? Without any more details we know she lost a gem, huh? That I accidentally dropped his Ducati on its side. Obviously I couldn't pick it up, I was panicking and called a neighbor for help and both of us were able to pick it up. Thankfully nothing happened to the motorcycle. No scratches or anything. But if my ex knew, he'd have a fit lmao. This is the least depressing one in this entire thread huh? Probably wouldn't be mad if there was zero damage and enough time had passed. Accidents happen and no harm no foul. Her chili sucked. Woody. You divorced your wife? You'll never understand not telling your partner when their food sucks ass. I'm glad my boyfriend tells me if my food sucks. It doesn't hurt, it just helps me fix it and make sure the food is good enough for both of us to enjoy. Given the next comment up is about an ex that charted themselves, this is kinda great. That I have never let anyone get that close emotionally, before or since. We stayed friends afterwards, and I wouldn't have gotten back together if she wanted to, but to me we had something special for a while. It sounds harsh, but I would have loved to have talked with my ex about how neither of us really loved the other, but we're both in love with the idea of each other, and that really fucked our relationship up, from day one, and honestly I should have never tried to rely on her to fix my own pre-existing issues. I'm genuinely sorry I put her through that. Been here. Moving on is your best recourse. That his breath stank, I had to remind him daily to brush his teeth. The heartfelt letter she wrote to her dying BFF was returned BC she put the wrong address. He passed away while the letter was en route back to her. I threw it in the trash. Are you sure he didn't have a condition like tonsil stones or something? The majority of severe bad breath, aka stank, is a health condition like mouth breathing at night or more serious oral conditions. Hell. Diabetes can make people smell bad and their breath bad. And you stayed with him. Jesus. How sorry I am for how things happened. I wish them well. Same boat but how I want them back. Loving someone who doesn't love you back hurts like fucking hell. That I didn't appreciate the cum stains on the bedroom walls and the audacity to ask me to paint over them. Must have been a load bearing wall. Excuse me, what? 
your dad was a horrible dad. That I knew the last time she tried to talk me into having sex, she was trying to pin her pregnancy from her trip to Florida on me. I never received a BJ before she gave me one, but even I could tell she was absolutely terrible at it. I'm usually 100% for the truth, but there was nothing to be gained here. You did the right thing. I thought I just didn't like BJS until I met the right person. It's an art. Still haven't met a second person lol. I do want marriage and kids, just not with them. One time he had sex with me and said that wasn't very good. Are you getting loose? He fucked my thighs. He didn't make it in. I didn't want to have sex anyways but I was 16 and didn't know how to say no, but it never lasted more than a minute so doing it was never too inconvenient, and I just said I'm sorry it wasn't good for you. What the hell did I just read? He will try to find the worst in anyone he loves bc he can't accept love. We should have broken up after that first fight 6 weeks in instead of 3 and a half years later. You're my biggest regret. I knew he cheated for about 2 weeks prior to the breakup. I kept trying to give him chances to come clean on his own. He never did. You're awfully patient. When I found out my so cheated I called her right away and broke up with her. I was at her apartment to let her dog out while she was at work. Her roommate's drunk boyfriend filled me in. Breaking up with me was the only good thing you ever did for me. It destroyed me, but I built back so much better. P.S. How is my, ex, best friend's wife? That his dad revenge cheated on his mom after she had a relationship with another man while they were separated. She swore me to silence after telling me once night but had to tell someone because her husband wouldn't stop holding the fact that she cheated on him over her head for every argument. This is the level of emotional intelligence I strive to achieve. I am not left handed. Ah, but neither am I. Imagine if we're ex on here speaking on you and you laughed or commented lol. I read some comments here that made me go up. Are you my ex, t I guess I need to take a hard look in the mirror and start some counseling cause I've done some pretty bad shit in life. That I smoked weed when he wasn't around. This was the late 90s and he was so anti-drug he would have been horrified. Just think how much sooner you would have gotten rid of him if you hadn't smoked all that weed. I hate that blue polo shirt so much. She thought she was there to guide me. She was only in my way. She's wrong if she thinks that you'll be just like her. I exposed her for stealing at work. This hurt my heart. Respect the decision though. Yahtzee. Laugh the popcorn out of my mouth on this one. High five. She was the cataclyst for me realizing it was a phase after all. Cataclysmist. That she would make an awful mother and that's why things ended. Damn lol. I let her win at card games sometimes. Winner usually chose the movie but I didn't want her to feel bad by beating her all the time and I wanted to keep playing. I played a lot of cards in university and could probably beat her 90% of the time. Nice try Jenna. Q Leslie Nielsen, oh, and I faked all my orgasms. You're good people. I hope this truth never comes out. What a tough decision to make. Hello everyone. Thanks for sticking to the end of this video. I really appreciate it. I just wanted to humbly ask you to subscribe to the channel. According to my statistics, 100% of my viewers in the past 28 days are not subscribed. I have always wanted this channel to reach 1000 subscribers, and if you want to support and be a part of that, subscribe. It's free and it's an awesome way to support the channel. Thanks again, Reddit glitch out.